In this video, we're going to be talking about how to use the MET level of an activity in order to estimate the calories burned while doing that activity. All right, so let's uh, go with a question here that's going to help us frame all this. So your client Josh wants to become more active so that we can lose some weight and become healthier. Uh, he currently weighs 180 pounds and he told you he played basketball for 45 minutes yesterday and wants to know how many calories he burned during that bout of you know activity with playing basketball. So um, we don't have a lot of information to go off of here, so it's not gonna be a perfect estimate, but we can at least give them something to go off of. So we're gonna use METs and do some MET calculations in order, in order to give him some estimate of calories burned. All right, so let's talk about how to do this now. All right, so our given information is that he weighs 180 pounds, um, that he played basketball and he did it for 45 minutes. All right, so uh, one thing you need to know is that a MET is equal to one kilocalorie per, kil uh, per kilogram of body mass per hour of that activity, whatever the activity is. So if something's two METs, it would be two calories. If something's five METs, it's five calories. All right, uh, we're gonna need to convert his body mass from pounds to kilograms, because as we can see in this formula here, we have body mass in kilograms. So Let's go ahead and do that. Um, so he weighs 180 pounds. We're going to divide that by 2.2, and that gives us 81.8 kilograms. Um, the next question we need to answer, though, is how many mets is basketball worth? All right, so in order to answer that, I'm actually going to be showing you a really great resource. Um, this is the Compendium for Physical Activities. Uh, if you scan this QR code, it'll actually take you to that website. It's a website with a lot of different physical activities and exercises and an estimate of how many METs those activities are going to be for a typical person. All right, it's not, these aren't perfect values. These are estimates um, based on research, but they are estimates. All right, so here we are on the Compendium of Physical Activities website. There's a lot of good information here that you should at some point go through and look around this website. Um, and I will put a link to this website in the description below this video. Um, but what I'm gonna do is go to this uh, here where it says activity categories. And as I put my mouse on, it actually brings up the different activity categories. And we're gonna go down to sports. I've already looked this up and uh, basketball's in the sports category, but you can see all these different categories here that can give you a lot of very useful information. And so looking at this, there's different years for the compendium that they've updated this different times. We'll go with the newest one, the 2011 edition. And um, this column here is where the MET level for the different uh, activity is going to be listed. So let's scroll down here. Um, I see basketball as a game. They do have some different types of basketball, but they're not games. All these are different things, you know. Um, basketball officiating, basketball shooting. Um, not quite sure what the difference is between basketball general and basketball game, but let's uh, go ahead and assume this was a fairly intense game that he played, um, and we'll give him the basketball game because it has the higher met level. And you're gonna see that's actually gonna give us some fairly high calorie burned estimates, but uh, we'll, you know, we'll go with that for now. Uh, it might be a good idea, though, to maybe use this one here. It's a little lower to give a more conservative estimate, but we'll, we'll, we won't be conservative here. Let's go with eight as our MET level for basketball. All right, so let's get back to our calculations here. All right, so we just answered this question of how many METs basketball is. It's worth eight METs. Um, so let's go ahead and move forward. Remember, one MET is equal to one kilocalorie per kilogram of body mass per hour of activity. So uh, basketball being eight METs means it's worth eight kilocalories per kilogram body mass per hour. Um, so now we just need to uh, uh, plug in some information here since uh, we know his body mass, we know how long he exercised for. Um, so I'm going to actually uh, convert this though to a per minute uh, unit first. All right, so we, again, eight kilocalories per kilogram body mass per hour. We're gonna divide that by 60 minutes because there's 60 minutes in an hour. That's gonna give us 0 0.1333, and the threes actually went on forever. I just stopped after three threes. Um, but 0 0.1333 kilocalories per kilogram body mass per minute now. Um, and we're gonna convert that one more time, or we're gonna 
uh, change that one more time because we need to uh, incorporate his body mass. Um, so we have that same 0.1333. Uh, we're now going to get rid of this body mass from the equation by multiplying by his body mass in kilograms, which was 81.8 uh, kilograms. And that gives us 10.9 kilocalories per minute. So for every minute of activity he did, it was 10.9 calories, which is a fairly high calorie burn rate. But again, we went with a more sort of liberal estimate of basketball here. And so um, let's do the final step now. Uh, we have, again, the 10.9 kilocalories per minute. We did 45 minutes worth of basketball play. Um, so just multiply those two out. That gives us 490.5 or roughly 491 kilocalories by playing basketball for 45 minutes. So in this situation, we didn't have a whole lot to go off of, but we did uh, use METs in order to get us some useful information. So this is just one way you can use METs. Um, there are other ways that METs are used for exercise prescription. Um, so I'll go ahead and put a link in the description below to a video where I talk about what exactly a MET is, as well as um, other uses for METs.